Hey everybody and welcome to another video of Power BI for Sports. What I have today is actually a very short and simple video on what for me is the best way to create a database in Excel that you can uh, import into Power BI and be able to create as many graphs, uh, tables and, and slicers, all that you need to make in your Power BI. You're just going to make it using one big and, and easy to make database in Excel. So I'm going to show you here a, a sample of my CSV export that I have created using my StatSports GPS software. So whether you're using StatSports or you're using a different provider, you can always export an Excel data file like this one, where you have all of the metrics that you have selected for a given session, uh, whether it's a training session or a match, and you can select what metrics you have in your report. So this is literally all we're going to need today just our normal CSV export from a session. So in this case, you can see that I have, in, in the same order, I have my player name, the drill title, which in this case is just the full session, and the session date. And then I have over 200 metrics uh, in, my, in my report file. So now we're going to create our database from zero, okay? So the first thing that I need you to do is to copy and paste uh, all of this data. So this is my full session. I'm going to select all the cells. I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to come to a new, fresh uh, Excel, Excel file. And I'm going to paste it there. So the important thing here is that I have my first, my first row. It's going to be the title of each variable or metric. So you have my player name, the drill title, session, and then all your distances, sprints, etc., all of the all of the metrics exported by the GPS. So that means that for our next session, all we need to do, say this is my, my second session that I've done for that day, all I need to do is to select from the second uh, row, instead of, I'm, I'm just going to skip that first row because I already have it, I'm just going to select from the second row all of that data, copy and paste that just here at the bottom of my database that I've just created. So it's as simple as that. I think this is the best way that you can create a database. It's just to simply have a huge data dump where you can copy and paste all of your session data and then after you can modify it and, and customize everything according to what you want in Power BI. So it's, it's as simple as that. You just need to copy and paste all of your sessions into this database and that's going to be able to import into Power BI. So this is just a sample of what my database looks like right now. So I have here all of my sessions from September up until April. I have all of my sessions for each player and you can see that the date is here on my third, third column and my player names on the first column. So this is the file that I'm going to import into Power BI. So now, using only this file, I have been able to create all of these different types of reports in Power BI. So all I did was imported that database here into my Power BI dashboard. And using all of the uh, column variables that I have created in my database, I'm able to do all these different types of report, you know, whether it's for your session, for a drill breakdown, or even for a specific player report. So the way Power BI works is that once you have imported a database into Power BI, you can see that that exact database is right here. The way it works is that it takes every column as a separate variable. So you can play around with those variables and create either visualizations, graphs, and filters according to those variables. So the most important one that you're, that you're going to use will be your slicer. So whenever you import a slicer, which is this icon right here, you can select filter your data according to the name of the, the column, which is session date. So using this column right here, session date, I am able to filter the data and be, tell the Power BI dashboard to only show me this data from here. So using that filter, you're able to uh, select what, what date you want to visualize, and that's gonna just filter the data in your Power BI dashboard according to that file. So in just using just one big database and using just one Power BI dashboard, I'm able to view any session that I want. And you can do the same thing for your other reports. So if you have, for example, a drill report, you can also create a slicer and filter your data according to the drill title column. So 
using this column right here, drill, drill title, I can filter my data not only according to a specific date, but you can also select the drills that you want to include. So if you come to a specific training session, you can filter that and then uh, do a little breakdown of the different drills within that training session uh, or within a match. And also same applies to your player reports. You can create another slicer, for example this one here, using the player name. So this time I can filter my data according to the player name. So you can filter the data in so many different ways. And that's going to allow you to use only one big data dump. And like I said, you create all the, the, the customizations and, and edit all the data in the way that you need right in Power BI. So you don't need to worry about your database in Excel. And in the case that you need to add uh, additional information, you can always uh, create different, uh, import a new database into your Power BI and create relationships just like this one. So that's going to allow you to uh, create the relationships between two different variables that you have in separate databases like this one. So in this case, I have my player images in one uh, table and I have my player information on the other one. So I can just create a relationship between both of those two and be able to show that image. Make sure you watch my player images video if you want to know how to do this better. And finally, one strong recommendation that I can do is that you export as many metrics as you can into this uh, database. So even if possible, just export all of the metrics that are available in your software. This is going to allow you to have everything stored in your database and you're never going to miss any metrics that you can. Because if you have a big database like this one where you have a year's worth of data and tomorrow you want to look at a new metric that you haven't included in this database, you would have to export everything all over again. So I really recommend that you do as many metrics as possible and, and that way you you always be sure that you have all the information possible in your database. So that's it for today. Uh, it's actually a very short and simple video, but I've received a few questions over the last few weeks about how to create the best data database. And to be honest, it's a simple and short video because it's really that easy. All you need to do is copy and paste all your data that you exported using your GPS software and copy and paste that into one big data dump. You don't have to worry about making any graphs, any macros or any formulas in your Excel because all of the information and all of the customization you're going to do, you're going to do it directly in Power BI. So that's going to save you so much time and you only, all you need to do after you finish your training session is export that CSV and uh, send it to your database. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or any suggestions for another video, please get in touch with me. Thanks.